Hey there, everyone. Uh, the Cell Cow Links from Mario Galaxy, the second one. And you know what? Last time we, we had a bit of a trial. You know, we had a little bit of a thing. But it was non standard gameplay, right? So I am not worried in the slightest. I'm sure today we're gonna have a grand old time. I'm not even worried about whatever comet equivalent is gonna happen there. I'm just not. I am not letting myself get worried about these things. Alright, so uh, we got a smorgasbord of choices here, but we already did one, so why don't we go clockwise? No, I want to end at closest to the edge, so we're gonna do a uh, U, gonna like, you know, go here, and then we're gonna go all the way up backward, and we're gonna go around? Sure. Which means we're going to slip sand. Alright, sounds great. We're gonna fly right there. They're like, all oh, pyramids. There's gonna be pyramids and sands. Maybe gonna be a mummy or a mummy equivalent. I don't know, man. Squizzards! Well, he's got a sandy sinkhole. Huh. Okay. <laughs> we got this sweet, like, weird uh, sandworm thing that looks like platforming. Yeah! This looks so cool, but also so weird. Uh, because it is all within itself, this, like, massive construction. How... how is this? I don't know. Hey, Luigi. Alright, well, here we go. So, can you sink in the sand? Maybe... Oh, this... I love this... This big old, like, funnel. Welcome to the sand tube. Yeah. That's all I have to add. But I feel like being welcoming is very important. I don't know. I gotta get this my own. There's a... Pipe right here. Dodge the fire. Yeah, this is just like, yo, check it out. You know what? Uh, the pyramid over there is backwards. And it's pretty great. So we're doing this game. A bunch of coins is going to happen. We're gonna hear a clock. Tick and tock. You gotta get all of these to get a one up. Yeah, uh, Peach did not offer me a cinquet of one up mushrooms. I guess she doesn't like me anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Sometimes this happens. And I don't know what's the cause, but I feel like sometimes directions are what they're gonna be. Uh, okay, I'm guessing I wanna go in the- well, see, what if the metal is somewhere around here? This is the path with coins, so it feels like the main path, maybe? Yeah, I just kinda ran into that, huh? But see now- whoa, whoa, okay, so you are pushed. Uh, it is not a silent undertaking. I want to turn off these fires, but it's not working. All right, forget about it, then. We're going to here. Welcome to video game. So what, like, what is the meaning of these squares? Well, they're going to push you off if you let them. And here's an enemy. It's a pokey head. It's just, it's a pokey without the pokey. How does that happen? Okay, well, I guess they're still young, you know? Alright, fair enough. Just gonna walk it here, gonna do a long jump to look at that chicken. Chicken is struggling. Okay, well, there's the metal. It's not hidden in any way, shape, or form. It's just there. Check it out, it's me. I'm the metal. I'm just kind of resting here. Oh, chicken's got bombs, by the way. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild indeed. Uh, alright, so, so there's fire people. I did that. I long jump over. Well, I tried to long jump over this bomb, knowing very well that long jump does not go high. So I'm not sure what I was hoping for, but I think now we're gonna try and light up some torches. Fireball into the little guy. Yeah, see, there, there's torches over there. I've played Galaxy 1. That's what fireball, like, always meant. Oh, hey, look at that. Now the mushroom exists, as well as a thousand pokies. Uh, that's a thousand. It's just that I'm destroying all of them very quickly, so you're not able to, like, count them in time. That's how it's working out. All right, okay. Well, thank you for the one-up, as we get smashed to bits here, possibly. No, I think you want me to go on the squares and then fall off the squares, huh? A good time is being had the squares. All right, welcome to Squaresville. Everyone who's popular ends up here at some point. All right, so let's go here. Here we go. Hey, check it out. Uh, it's a uh, midpoint. The big old flag. Everything got real yellow for a hot second. That was pretty scary. 
It's like, there was like sand. Okay, we're sli- Oh. Why are we doing this banjo- the banjo? Crash Bandicoot style. Alright, I guess we are. Oh, we got rollers. They're so happy to be here. These are the happiest death rollers the world has ever seen. Like, hey, Mario, we're big fans. How about you slide along our convoy? Uh oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, could have I jumped or something to save myself? Possibly. All right, if there's anything I don't mind redoing, it's that little segment. All right, you get more of these, it's always good. Yeah, see, they don't show you how long the slime is gonna be. Yeah, so what happened is that you have the ability to move, right? And uh, you're gonna move real fast. And yeah, and your momentum is gonna continue. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, like, I don't know how deadly these rulers are gonna be. I'm assuming fairly. All right, here we go, here we go. It's like I'm playing a driving game right now. It's pretty neat, actually. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Whoa! Rude. I don't know why I lost control there. Am I allowed to jump? I am allowed to jump. Why wouldn't I be? I feel like there are some ways you can slide in 64 where you forfeit your ability to jump, but not if you're sliding on your butt. Yeah, so what's happening here is that, you know, like, there's not a lot of space. Except there's actually a plenty of space! Yeah, I panic moved because I thought there was not a lot of space, but there's a lot of space, actually. And I just, like, super overcorrected. Alright, well, I mean, that's gonna happen. That is so rad, by the way. Everything that happened here was so rad. Super rad. Get out of here, rock. I oh, got time for you, apparently. Alright, you could use a scissors. Oh, there's gonna be a boss, huh? There's gonna be a boss now. Well, I know myself. Luma Lee! Luma Bop! Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Give me that life. Give me that red. Even if I don't end up using it, the fact that I have the extra health is going to change how I play psychologically. So even if I end up not needing it, uh, I still, it still mattered. And off we go into the realm we don't know. Oh, that's probably Squidward. There's rocks everywhere. Okay, finally the enemy is summoned. Look at that thing. Alright, so hey, where's it go? Okay, you're kinda getting me fire. So I can go to a place where it's not on fire and miss entirely. You don't seem to care all that much. Oh, but once your mouth is open though, yeah, you know, it's very important not to mouth breed. Like, you know, like there's a reason we have a nose. Uh, by absorbing air through our nasal cavity, like, everything that goes inside us, like, goes into, like, this big old filter, and, uh, when you're breathing from the mouth, that thing doesn't get filtered. Okay, oh, and I can destroy his massive spiny uh, eggs, too, which is pretty good. I'm gonna get everything I can. He's ha oh, he has actual cannons with him? What? Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? Da, 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 da. It's the fire. It's oh, big bombs. The the music is a remix of the fireball power up. That is so good. That is so good. What a weird boss though. Is kind of spammy. As in you. Well, okay. I was wondering if the star was gonna stay up there. That'd be such a. Like, okay, like, it wouldn't work in the game, right? But in-universe, like, that would be such a jerk move. It's like, alright, here it goes. It just flies off like a mile in the air. It's like, alright, deal with that now. I don't know. Luckily, 
Mario lives in a video game, and things end up in orienting themselves in such a way where you can just go ahead and get whatever needs being getting. Lucky you, little gnome. Lucky you. Also, I'm done getting my money into the stupid place, the bank. Oh, Bebot. That's that's a while ago. All right. Okay. So let's finish the world though first. And then we're gonna go back and do a comment. It's, it's, it's the slip sand galaxy. It's a galaxy where you slip on the sand. That is true. That is accurate. The sand is slippery. I uh, sailing the sandy seas. Love our S's. Okay, we just got this river of sand with conspicuously placed cactus. You know, is this the sandbird? This is a sequel to Sandbird. Well, we gotta get there first. We gotta do a part of the sandworm first. Welcome to the galaxy! I love this galaxy, it's great. Okay, but things are extremely different. This is a very heavy remix here. Like, just nothing comparable with the original. Right, well, I'm by selling here, I rewarded with a mushroom. But at that, it played a Mario jingle. We did it. Did we? Yes. Hey, Skella buddy. Yeah, I was commenting on you and Smebex how they added hands to you. Because I'm not used to... This is not what I expected. Because, like, I, I didn't expect... Oh, that's neat. Like... Oh, God. How do you get past there? Uh, it's doing the thing where, like, you need to, like, roll your... Your direction with where you're going. I am not used to that. But yeah, that's how you can, like, get the smooth going on. Oh, that is so cool how this is happening. Because I'm not running or whatever, it's not up to- I don't, like, I- This is not what was supposed to happen, but I guess it is what happened. Thank you for the help. Um... So, which one is the continuation? Which one is the... Secret star that probably exists. Huh? Well, I don't know if I can even go in that orange pipe. I mean, I think I needed to land on the square, and from there I could get there? Oh no, there we go! Well, this just looks like the continuation, though. So was the prize actually in the green pipe? But that was harder to get into. Huh. Alright, well... Here we are. Because <laughs> there could be a secret... There could be a secret star. Alright, well I'll come back and chat. Whoa, I didn't expect to just kind of crash in there. Danger, don't fall. Got it. Yeah, this is the classic... Everyone knows about the Sandbird. Well, here's the Sand Manta, and it's being destroyed by by the Cacti. But it's also getting better at the same time, so it's all good. Oh. Now there's a wizard. How does that you know, even work? Whoa. Yeah, okay. I'm dead. <laughs> I uh, misunderstood where I could go. I misunderstood my angles. That's gonna happen. It's fine. Well, I don't have my turbocharge held though now. So that might matter. What if the green pipe was not actually a green pipe? It was supposed to go and was just gonna like rocket, like boost me upward into the into the thing, into the pipe I managed to get into. Uh, so now I'm wondering that's probably what's most likely. Whoa, you're destroying the bird! It is like a rare species that doesn't exist. That's how rare it is. And here you are, just like destroying it? That's very rude. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, well, I don't know why touching you had like a burning effect. Well, there it didn't. Oh boy, okay, yeah, I, I misnamed my, uh, oh, I'm gonna get one up. I don't know why. I wanted the health, mostly. Alright, here we go. You cannot get coins with your cursor. Star bits all along. Coins, though, forget about it. Alright, okay. Just keeping it safe. Uh, kind of waiting at the last minute to uh, re-exist here, huh? Little bird. Uh, 
kind of playing it a little bit weird, huh? Well, here's Dog. That dog has seen better days. But maybe he just does that. I wasn't sure if he's tracking me. I think he is. I think he is tracking me a little bit. I don't know. I cannot tell. All right, well, he can play with a bird all he wants because we're done. You know what? There's a quick and easy way to know if there was, in fact, a secret star. If that green pipe is a green pipe that mattered. Well, I still want to see what it does. Even if it doesn't matter. But yeah, my theory now is that it just kind of cannons you into the orange pipe. And you don't have to really even think about it. Well, let's find out after the game was saved. And after that, we're going to do a comment. Whoa, wild! Yeah, see, there's no, there's no secret exit mention. But I just have to know. You know, you probably are supposed to. No, you can't do that. I don't know. Oh, so that's a reset. Okay, so yeah, so you get the coins by not doing anything. As the block is attached to that whole thing that lets you just, you know, where, where the gravity follows you, basically. Does getting all the coins do something? Huh. So, okay, you're probably supposed to do it, then this way. You go like here, then you can drop. And then if you do it bad, you just kind of fall off like that and it's sad. But you saw what was going on. So if you let the, 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 the block put you at the right spot, then, yeah, then you will be dropped into... Okay. You Basically, you change your gravity so you can just naturally drop into the orange. Got it. Understood. Well, hello there, little guy from World 3. It's been a while since we've been here. Block, beating to the block, doing beep sounds, music, rhythm. Uh, Prankster Comet was detected. There was a big icon on it and everything. Silver stars and double time. Oh, so is it gonna go faster? Yes. And also the level is structured differently. Okay. Which I expected, but... Yes, faster, look at that! Okay, now it's serious! Gonna get all of these. And yeah, I'm not gonna go to the bank! I feel like I'm just not gonna go to the bank anymore. Until, like, I need to. Oh, this is cool. This is cool and scary. It feels like I'm playing a video game. Like... All right, and they're gonna be silver stars, but they're not gonna like they're not gonna be on this side. There's, oh, Yoshi, why are you here? I don't know, but you're here. Beep, beep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Saved by the extreme float, which is what I expected. Whoa! Yeah! Wow. Okay. So that's the reason why Yoshi is here. This floaty jump is kind of very strong. Whoa, okay. Okay. I'm just destroying things. Alright, there's a nest. It is just a fallen thing. It happens. Da, 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 da. Ah! Alright, that worked out, kinda. Here we go. That's where are the silver stars. So I feel like I feel like Yoshi has some kind of coyote time going for him. Just perf. Whoop! Maybe not. <laughs> All right, no more Yoshi. Good. Because uh, uh. Yoshi does control a bit weird. Like he does change your basic physics. All right, so. Silver star, so. Uh, 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 okay. Good for now. Uh, uh, that's gonna be my commentary here. Keeping to the beat, basically. Uh, 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 all right. There's like a whole bunch of stuff just everywhere, it's pretty good. 
Uh, uh, Alright, I'm on top. That's where the star's gonna be. Uh, where is front? Okay. Uh, 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 Alright, the other one's just here. No pressure. It's all good. Uh, uh. Alright, so things are gonna pause. And the beat is gonna stop. Because last time I... When we went here for real... Uh, the beat stopped once you summon the star, and this is still true. You see, I, I, I again, I've been forged on ROM hacks and fan games. We're all significantly more unreasonable in these kind of things, and so that's where my instincts lie, right? And so I always tend to sort of like prepare for significantly worse than what the game would actually gonna do. It's so good, look at that! Like, like, like this meteor shower going on here, it's really good. Silver Star, I love this level! Honestly, I wish the timing levels were on that beat instead. I know, like it's... Oh, and now we gotta go back to the world of sand. Sure, why not? Why not? Check it out, there's the Prankster Galaxy now at the Pyramid. Let's prank the Pyramids! <laughs> sure. Whatever that means. Because, yeah, like, I feel like in general, Prankster Galaxy are kind of short. Daredevil run. Oh! That's whatever. There's this fire lot. Like, I don't think I got hit against. Mm, maybe. I forget. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're flying right there, just kind of skipping all the temples and like the good parts of the level. Just gotta wait for him to happen, but he won't until you get it a bit closer. So assuming, yeah, assuming that the fight doesn't change, as long as I'm slinging fire, I don't think he can actually do anything to me. Because I'm going to burn his stuff before it gets to me. Yeah, like that. Alright. So we're gonna get a refresh. Oh, there, flower. Uh. No. Yeah, this is a very mashy boss. Let's be real. Like, that's just kind of like what happens. Like, yeah, he's getting cannons now. And yeah, that's pretty cool in terms of, like, flavor, but it doesn't mean anything. As long as I keep my own barrage of offense going. Oh, so this time he threw the bombs at me and not beside me. I didn't expect that. The first time we fought, your bombs didn't do anything. They just... He ended up around me. Like that! Like that's what he did the first time we fought! And that's why I thought he was trivial. So sometimes he goes at you, sometimes he goes around you, suspecting that you're gonna dodge, and so he gets you like that. But because the first time he ever did that was the one where I had to do nothing, I learned the wrong lesson. <laughs> that's funny. That is really funny. I did it though. Oh, that's a bit chunkier recording session, because I... Yeah, comments are getting a little bit more involved, so I... I mean, sometimes comments are really short, though. I don't know. I'm happy with what I did. We did the entirety of Sand Zone, and we finished another zone, and yeah, I'm done with the bank. I'm just... it's just... The interest is not worth it. I'm accruing um amount of interest, because I do have some in the bank right now. If I'm supposed to be putting star bits in the bank, I'll do that later. Like, once I actually just have, like, all the star bits or something, because it's just... Whatever, ma'am.